Well, hello to all my wonderful YouTube fans. How are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. If you're wondering what I'm doing today, well, oh, I got some sad news for all my lovely tubes uh, about my black and decorated 400 watt inverter. I hooked it up to a 12 volt battery and turned it on and poof! It basically blew up. This is the inverter I bought. Wasn't brand new by the way. This was actually used by somebody else and I bought it basically from good oil. Now you're gonna say, Chris, how did it blow up? I honestly, to tell you the truth, I don't know. I hooked it all up the right way. You know, positive with positives, negatives with negatives, but now to hitting that little soft uh, uh, switch hill to turn it on, and it all went down hill and basically blew a capacitor and basically blew itself apart. I'm going just to go ahead and buy a new one. I'm going to look around for a nicer and better inverter than this one, but trust me, I love Black & Decker, but I hate things made in China. I wish stuff was made in the US. That's just so frustrating. But this was 8 years old, but let's go ahead and show you what happened to the inverter itself, basically. Basically, here was a known piece of Chinese electronics on why I hate China so much and why I hate things being made in China. Because the quality is shitty is effing frick. And you're gonna say, Chris, why'd you take it apart? Well, I took it apart to find out what went bang. And basically, here's the AC side of the inverter. These are both uh, nice uh, plugs here. I also had a 5 volt DC out to charge uh, different cell phones. And can I save this? Probably I can save it and uh, use it for something else, but. Eh, not gonna worry about that. It's just basically gonna go into the trash, basically. It's really nothing I can really save off of this uh, board, basically. But let's go ahead and show you what happened, basically. Let's start on the back of the inverter. Basically, you have your positives, your red, negatives is your uh, negatives of the battery. Hooked it up the right way, turned it on, and basically it beeped, and after that, it took its own life and decided, screw you, and it decided to blow. And I basically looked around, looked around this board, all the way around, to see if it blew the fuses. Nope, didn't blow the fuses, didn't blow these transistors or whatever these things are in the heatsink, and it didn't blow anything else. But look very closely. Let me move these wires out the way. Yeah. It blew a capacitor, basically. And you're going to say, hey, Chris, that's very easy to fix. Nah, not really. It's just not that complicated. Just look at this Chinese piece of freaking crap from China. And you just slap a, a brand name, uh, Black and Deco, and say, oh, Black and Deco made it. Well, not really. If you look at the bottom of this uh, little guy here, you'll find out it's actually made in China. Like everything else we own today is just made absolutely horrible. And you can see here is the uh, date 2008. And look very closely, like though, freaking, freaking China crap. Absolutely horrible. Now let's look at the motor. Curious. It's a little bit of the motor right there. And it takes 40 amps of current and 12 volts in, uh, 8 point DC volts. And let's just go ahead and basically look around this uh, board. Basically, here's your cooling fan here to pull air to cool down this whole tire inverter. This is your DC side, this would basically be your AC side. And of course it has some 
crap of the crap and crumbs right here. Basically, really crap soldering job and not very good. Then, where the fuck does this? Like, really? Could have soldered those directly to the board. No, no. They have to use little, little things like this to stand it out, I guess. Oh, okay, let's uh, flip it over. Bam! Here we have a while. A very nice solder mass of a while going from the negative side all the way over here. Very nicely designed, but a very cool of where it was made. And like I said, anything can happen to uh, these things, and it's basically not user error, it's basically just old. And it decided to blow up, I guess. I don't know. This is not uh, my fault on what happened to this uh, inverter. Basically, it just got so old and decided to blow uh, a cap, basically. But you're going to say, hey, Chris, you can fix it. Well, not if something shorted out somewhere uh, on the actual board or the PCB board here. Okay. And I don't have the schematics to trace out where that uh, capacitor goes. And you're going to say, wow, what a uh, piece of crap this thing is. Well, remember, this is not very new. I bought this used down at my local Goodwill. But somebody else had it and decided to donate to Goodwill because they was having the same issue. And do yourself a favor, stay away from the black and deckled inverters, buy something a little bit better. But it's not black and deckled. Okay, if you take this name away, it's just basically a Chinese piece of crap, basically. But what can I do with it? Nothing, really. Here's all your, here's your puzzle right there for when you overload it and a bunch of random circuits and some nice uh, components you can save you off of this. But for me, uh, I'm not going to bother with it. I'm basically just going to toss it and just buy a whole new one. Basically, that's the end of my uh, Black & Deckled Envoidle. Alright, that's it. Don't know what else to say about this piece of crap Chinese unit. Alright, Tubes, well thank you so much for watching today's vlog. And you're gonna say, what happened to it? Well, tell you the truth, it does blow a capacitor and basically Sutton shorted out on the circuit board and you're gonna say, Chris, why don't you fix it? Well, to me it's not really worth fixing these things. If it's a short somewhere on any of the PCB boards, you're not gonna find that short and basically it's just not going to be fixable. But I knew I had a lot of issues uh, with this uh, 400 watt uh, inverter. It's been having a lot of issues because of age. It's eight years old and basically it's now uh, junk now to me. And I'm just going to go out, buy a lot better one. Uh, it's going to have maybe a more stabilization uh, on it than this thing ever did. And just never trust what you buy at your local Goodwill. You think because you buy something, it's like, oh, it's nothing really totally wrong with it. But when you use it, well, basically, it's something wrong with it. I didn't hook it up to anything else, didn't just a 12 volt battery, and that's when it decided to go wow, high while, and it decides to basically destroy itself. But there you go, guys and girls, be yourself available. Reach out before you buy anything, but if you're a brand new channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below when I can get a new one of these inverters. Please like, please share, peace out, bye guys and girls. Well, please see you in the next vlog. Catch you later.